Normally I hate selling vans. Um, <laughs> usually they're dirty, usually they're beaten up. Um, usually the service book's either been lost by the driver or the service receptionist where they, they've, they've had it done or the service themselves, they're done in the workshop and nothing's ever recorded. Not the case with this one. Um, this is a lovely van. It's clean inside now and it's got a full service history. The book's been stamped and we've got the book too, which, which is, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> I would, I would normally tell you to ask for John if you were if you're ringing about a van, but you can ask for me too on this one. It, it really is nice. It's beautiful inside. Um, it's uh, ply lined. I, I'll, I'll show you around it uh, in a second, but I'll, I'll just tell you what it is. It's a Ford Transit Custom 2.2 TDCI 270 L1H1 Limited Panel Van. It's a 2015 on a 65 plate. It's got a great spec. It's done 53,400 miles there or thereabouts. I'll, I'll tell you uh, when we get in. It's MOT till the 22nd of the 7th, 2020, and it was last serviced at 47,851 miles. As I say, it's, it's a really nice van. I mean, I'll just show you the oily bit. There, I mean, we have cleaned it, but it was clean to start off with. And uh, for a van, it's just unbelievable. I'll just put this away. So here we've got the five spoke alloy wheels, side loading door here. It's uh, lined with hard plastic, so um, you just slide stuff in without ending up with a completely rusty floor and it's also easy clean of course you can mop it out or swill it out whatever you want to do the side protection moldings there doors open to 90 degrees i'll just show you the load through there as well if you can see it Sorry, my camera bag's here, but that uh, pulls up like so. Allows you to get ladders or longer uh, items underneath the seat. Also, doors open 180 degrees. Allow you to reverse up to a loading bay or get a forklift up to uh, the back of the vehicle. Got rear parking sensors there. Uh, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Okay. Proper key, proper blade, proper ignition. There you go. We've got air conditioning in this vehicle as well, which is quite handy because it's uh, pretty warm today. Full service history, stamp book. Uh, 2048, 2015, it was PDI'd. 25th of the 8th, 2016 at 15,436 miles. It was serviced at uh, Essex Auto Group. 4th of the 2nd, 2017. Jim has connected to your phone and is reminding you that emergency assistance is set to off. At 26,137. Uh, garbage stamp there, but it's Alan Ford. And I actually looked up, uh, Google the telephone number to find out what that was from the stamp. Uh, but then we turn over the page there and we see they've got a new stamp, which um, uh, is uh, a good thing, really. 23rd 7, 2018, serviced at 39,116 miles, and then on the 8th of the 4th, 2019, at 47,851, it uh, was serviced here at Allen Ford. It's now done 52,484 miles, so uh, well, just less than 5,000 miles. I'll take you for a ride in it. They, they do, as I always say, 
they do drive very very nicely these vans and uh, and I could quite easily use one every day as my uh, smoker very very handy uh, I particularly like the ones with the proper bulkhead because you can keep the uh, driver's compartment at uh, a regulated temperature whether that be warm or cold without having to heat or cool the whole van first really really nice to drive um, good looking van and the, the handles so good um, six speed gearbox this has actually got a uh, heated driver's seat as well and it gets really hot so aircon and heated seat best of uh, best of all worlds multifunction steering wheel here we've got the phone controls on the right and then we've got cruise and speed limiter on the left Bluetooth hands-free uh, and also Bluetooth audio streaming which is really really good thanks for indicating right at the last second and making sure I wouldn't pull out onto the roundabout and get stuck behind all this traffic instead yeah here we go Nine plate. That's the first one I've seen. Superb to drive. Nice and quiet. So that's the other thing with the bulkhead. You you get uh, insulated from the from anything going on in the back there. Any any rattles or knocks from uh, that's not from the van that's from the uh, from your cargo and also in the event you have to get if you have to pull up quick you you don't end up covered in whatever you're transporting in the cabin it's got uh, which I, I think I may have forgotten to do and probably won't do from here no it's got power folding door mirrors. There we go. With power folding door mirrors. Just give it a bit of gas. great Ford gearbox this would make a, a lovely camper van conversion if uh, if you're looking for a nice clean van it is a lovely shape that M4 I've got to say it's uh, harking back to the old BMWs well, I used to like them not so much anymore stupid run flat tyres here we go just check the passenger yep that's working whip it across driver's side yep that's working windows working fine test the cruise when we get on the motorway bench seat here we've got this centerpiece that kind of folds down you've got two more cup holders there we should go through the cup cup holders because obviously that's really important there's a cup holder there a cup or flask or big bottle holder there another flask or big bottle holder there two cup holders in the center so 
So, uh, again, well equipped for cup holders. It's also got sat nav this van, and it's it's quite a simple version of the sat nav. And just uh, let's just I'll just put the map on there. Oh, I'll have to switch it on, turn it down because it'll be playing my radio or my phone. So turn it down. And just there's the map. I'll just click OK. Nothing behind me is this so the van coming. Chain Fleetwood Mac, Grand Prix record, which is great until it comes on when you're in a fast car and you want to do the F1 thing. Nice light clutch, as I say, fantastic gearbox. And um, we'll just, let's see. We switch it on cruise control standby set set so that's it so switch on from the middle you've got set plus set minus I can just click it up there uh, clicks up to 70 we're in six which is unusual for me when I actually put it on we're doing about 1750 revs which uh, nice and quiet I've got the lights on there looks like it's set in night mode There you go, 70 miles an hour, nice and quiet. And it, it's, it's just like just like a car, really. Front central armrest there. Um, everything, you, everything you could possibly need. Side loading door, which is on the, the passenger side. Twin solid barn doors or twin solid rear doors, however you want to uh, describe them. Alloy wheels. Good looking, good looking van. I want to be cutting in there in a second, but not in front of this fuel tanker. I'll give it some oh, good and better. Maybe sandwich here if I'm not careful. Oops, and now I'm speeding. should be allowed to speed if it enables you to get in front of two lorries. <laughs> That's extenuating circumstances. So there we go. It's a real good driving position as well. Seats are nice and comfortable. We've got a rev counter on the left, speedo on the right, on the left hand side in the center we've got fuel gauge on the right hand side coolant temperature and then we've got information display there and um, let's just say okay can't remember how to uh, ah there we go it's on the right hand side so average miles per gallon instantaneous miles per gallon how many miles you've done how many miles before you need to fill up average speed and now we're back to uh, average miles per gallon and although it's showing 34 I mean I, I, to be fair I'd be happy with 34 with a van but it, it has been ticking over while I've been photographing it and it's also been just ticking over while Lance has been cleaning it so it it's, it looks like it's going to do more. We'll just whip it round this roundabout, show you the sublime road holding. Look at that. Put my foot down. All the grids. Camera stuff sliding around in the back, and, and that's from a van. real good test of the steering and suspension there you're up down left right and we've got a we've got a bit better 
um, stretch coming up as well. A real good test for the suspension. I'm pretty sure this is okay though. It's been really, really well looked after. It's a credit to its previous owner. And these days, where vans in the old days, most of them used to just get battered. Um, tradesmen have a lot of pride in the work and of course it's it's the first impression if somebody pulls up inside outside your house in a battered old van then um, it makes you wonder how they're going to treat your stuff and and how they're going to build the extension that you want them to build <laughs> or fix whatever without wrecking it if they can't look after their own stuff so uh, this is uh it's a good start. Just go through this little kind of chicane, S-bend, shallow S. No, no knocks from anywhere. Lovely van, very, very nice. And although I said I'd be quite happy to uh, sell this, if you ring, make sure to ask for John. <laughs> John the van man. There we go. Great acceleration, great steering. Very, very nice, clean van. Just trying to think if I've missed anything out. We've got reversing sensors. Um, so that's the, the sat nav. Bluetooth hands-free, audio streaming. Um, the phone controls are here. You've got your voice activation there, which I never use because it for some reason it doesn't seem to recognize my commands or voice and I'll finish the test drive there pull over and show you how to use the uh, the equipment here thanks for watching if it's been of any benefit please like and subscribe and uh, click the bell to get uh, notified of uh, future videos